Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? So, when, when you get sent a riddle and you're like, okay, I got the answer to this. Uh, answer, when 10 days equals 30, um, this is going to be starting on October 1st. Um, yeah, we actually have only until the 30th to get your butts in gear and to stock up while you still can. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, thousands of dock workers at the Key East and Gulf Coast ports are preparing to strike. This looming strike is threatening significant disruptions in trade, trade flows, and supply chains. As the ports involved, they handle critical imports and exports, okay? Uh, if a new contract agreement is not reached by September 30th, dock workers will go on strike. This would be the first significant dock strike on the East Coast since 1977, potentially affecting 14 ports from Massachusetts to Texas, including major hubs like New York, New Jersey, and Miami. In total, about 25,000 workers could walk off the job. The main issue here is for the labor disputes our wages and job security. So this potential strike could disrupt more than like 68% of containerized exports and 56% of containerized imports in the US. Even a brief shutdown could result in significant backlog of shipments. Certain industries like automotive, uh, pharmaceutical, could face supply shortages while the refrigerated food products will spoil. Additionally, any increase in shipping costs will be passed down to us. So this will further complicate the inflation issues that we are already dealing with. Okay, so we're going to pay even more money for what's already on the shelves. Okay, so heed this warning now we pretty much only have until tomorrow to get your your houses in order get your pantries in order I don't care if you just stock up on rice beans and peanut butter okay I'm not going to sit here and scare you that's not who I am that's not what I do okay I'm just here as the messenger <laughs> you know what I mean um, I know that a lot of you who have been with me for quite some time, you are already of the prepared mind. You already know what's coming, okay? But for those of you who are new here, what have you been doing and where you been, okay? Listen, this is not a joke. Unless you want to be one of those ones that says, oh no, I'm out of toilet paper, and you go and you're like, uh, there's no toilet paper and I've been to tens different stores <laughs> all right well guess what there's that one jerk that went and it was probably the same jackass that went to the store in 2020 and stocked up on 18 packages of toilet paper when he didn't need any of it okay because a lot of us still have toilet paper from 2020 so, <laughs> so just do yourself the favor okay and just make sure that you have a good supply okay I'm hoping that at least half of you have at least six months okay and I know how hard it is believe me I get it okay finances suck right now believe me I'm there with you okay <laughs> it's not easy all right Sean and I have been putting all of our money into our house. New roof, 
you know, we, we had to, because they didn't give us, you know, like with the insurance payout, they didn't give us any money for the, in, for the interior damages, so all of that came out of pocket. So it's like, all right, well, thank God we've got a pantry, so we can't go food shopping. You know what I'm saying? So thank God we have the pantry so we can focus on the interior damages which is replacing the ceiling. Yes, the drywall and everything. So that's what we've been working on. And it's just a good thing that we know what we're doing. I'll just say that, okay? Um, but even that stuff is going to become impossible to come by. So if you have any home repairs that need to be done, write your list and see what you can get even if it's second hand um, there are places like Habitat for Humanity the stuff that they don't use okay they give it to um, there's one what is that one consignment shop there's a consignment shop I know here in Tampa, we have, it's called Jericho something, where the construction workers and the construction companies, they drop off all of the unused construction uh, materials. For those of us, for those of us who cannot afford to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that to buy brand new construction materials so check to see what um, consignment shops take that kind of stuff in and see if you can get your stuff through there okay because that's what we've been doing um, as for like food check with your pantries okay your, your food pantries at your local churches and um, see what you can get through there um, as for your toilet paper just take it easy I mean seriously because that's just ridiculous with that um, see if you can start to barter with friends family neighbors um, if you have like 50 cans of tuna fish <laughs> you know what I mean see if maybe a neighbor will swap you like a couple to get cans of tuna fish for a couple rolls of toilet paper you know what I mean just barter you know or if they need something done in their house you'll fix it for whatever you know we're gonna have to go back to those things if this doesn't come to an agreement because if there's no agreement we're gonna see a lot of shortages the supply chain is going to get broken again and we're gonna be right back to where we started from and you don't want to see that. You really don't. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless. <sighs>